In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Join Apostle John Udo today as he teaches the Word that was with God and is now with us for our transformation. Apostle John Udo, worth hearing. Once again, our ears are open, our hearts are open, and our eyes are open to hear, to perceive, and to see what you have for us. We receive with thanksgiving in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I rebuke every hindrance to the entrance of your word. And I thank you because your light is flooding us and illuminating us on every side. Thank you for grace to speak and thank you for ability to understand. And thank you more so for the grace to practice the things that we hear. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Today I'm taking the part two of the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. There are several scriptural passages where the spirit of wisdom is mentioned. We have one in Isaiah chapter 11. Isaiah chapter 11 from verse 1 and there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom the Bible goes on to mention several other dimensions of the spirit of God but the very first one of it of them is the spirit of wisdom and over in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 15 reads wherefore I also after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all saints cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him over in Isaiah, the spirit of wisdom was made mention of as the spirit that will fill the Lord Jesus Christ because that scripture speaks of the Lord Jesus Christ who was to come. But here in Ephesians, Paul the apostle prays that the spirit of wisdom be given unto us the followers of Jesus Christ and so Jesus Christ operated by the spirit of wisdom therefore we his followers are also to operate by the spirit of wisdom and Paul found it necessary to pray that we the believers might have the spirit of wisdom and so that means it is very important for a believer to pray and receive the spirit of wisdom for operation in his or her daily life 
the spirit of wisdom is also mentioned in uh, Exodus chapter 31 about the man Bezalel. Exodus chapter 31 verse 3 says, And I have filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom. And in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship. I pray for you that the Lord will fill you with the Spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship. Hallelujah. And God began to explain that based on this that I will fill him with. He is going to, in verse 4, he is going to devise cunning works. He will work in gold and in silver and in brass and in cutting of stones to set them and in carving of timber to work in all manner of workmanship. And he was only going to be able to accomplish these because he had the spirit of wisdom. And so if you take away the spirit of wisdom from Bezalel, he cannot do those things anymore. It's just like when Samson did not know that the spirit of the Lord had departed from him. And he went out and said, I will go like before. But the power was gone because the spirit was gone. So the wisdom goes when the spirit has gone. And the wisdom comes when the spirit has come. I heard of a man in the east. An evangelist told me about him. A pastor rather told me about him. This man is a welder. But he creates any machine or device you want him to create. To produce a machine that works things. Maybe you want him to produce a grinding machine. Or a pounding machine. Or a machine to peel granites or whatever whether he has seen it before or he knows how to do it before or not once you describe it to him can you do this can you create this kind of thing he will tell you okay let's see tomorrow once he sleeps he will receive a dream where he will be taught how to build that thing and then when you meet him tomorrow he will tell you the price and then he will build what he saw in his dream and it will work without any manual from anywhere it is what he saw in his dream he will build in the physical and it will work perfectly that's some realm of wisdom imparted through dreams so you need to be on the lookout because God when God begins to operate his wisdom in you it can come in any form Yours might come as ideas. You will always have ideas popping up in your mind. Take note of that. For another, it might be in her dreams. In his dreams. You just get what to do. For some, it might just be inspirations. However it might be. If you have prayed for the spirit of wisdom... You need to be on the lookout for the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom in your life. Let's look at some of the benefits of being filled with the spirit of wisdom. There is no way a man or a woman will be filled with the spirit of wisdom and you will not see the evidence 
of that spirit in his life. Which of you has seen a madman before? If you've ever seen a madman before, can I see your hand up? Okay. I believe you understand that a madman is influenced by a spirit to act the way he or she acts. So when you see a madman say they are coming, they are coming and he's running this way and you can't see anything coming you don't blame the madman because <laughs> he has what you don't have and he sees what you don't see and so he's acting based on what he has which is revealing to him what he sees <laughs> when I was planting a church in Ghana one day a drunken man was driving a trailer and he was driving it, driving it like a drunken man I believe you know what it would look like. I think it was this tipper for, for sand. The one that has this uh, large bag for piling sand in. And so he was swerving back and forth, back and forth. And people were screaming. And so he finally parked in front of my residence where I was living. And there were shops in front. And he was screaming from inside the vehicle. And finally, he opened the door and jumped down like a superman. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. And then he grabbed a shovel from inside the truck. And began to swerve it left and right. Now, I didn't need a voice to tell me to relocate. Because he was under the influence of a spirit. So he was acting according to the alcoholic spirit. So there is no way you are going to have the spirit of wisdom. And you will not act according to that spirit that you have. If you do not act according to the spirit of wisdom, you don't have it yet. A drunken man does not need to be motivated to act like a drunken man. No motivation. It's going to flow naturally. In the same vein, when you are filled with the spirit of wisdom, you are going to manifest like that spirit that is inside of you. The Bible says of Samson, when they came and tied him with ropes and delivered him to his enemies, it came to pass that when he heard the voice of the enemy screaming at him, shouting, rejoicing over him. The spirit of the Lord came upon him and immediately he broke all the chains and all the cords and he destroyed the enemies. Why? His spirit came upon him. So when we speak of the spirit of wisdom coming upon you, we are talking about the fact that when you receive this spirit, we must see the effect of it in your life. We must see it in your spiritual life. We must see it in your finances. We must see it in your family life. We must see it in every area of your life. People should begin to notice that there is something different about this young man. There is something different about this young woman. And then you will be able to say to them, Oh, I got the spirit of wisdom. Hallelujah. So what are some of the benefits of being filled with the spirit of wisdom? Number one is creativity. I love this one so much. Because digs 
places us in the order of God. The Bible says, Ye are gods to whom the ends of the earth has come. I want you to say, I am a God. Don't be afraid, it's scriptural. Say, I am a God. It's in the Bible. Even Jesus himself said it. The first introduction of God to us in the Bible was as a creator. In Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1. In the beginning, God did what? He created the heavens and the earth. And I was able to establish last week that God's creation was manifested by the reason of the wisdom he had wisdom said i was with him rejoicing with him when he was creating everything and god by wisdom created the worlds so the first introduction of god to mankind in the bible is as a creator and we know that he did these creations by reason of wisdom that he had and then the Bible says when God created man when he was to create, it, create man he said let us make man in our own image after our own likeness that means let's make man to be like us to act like us to think like us to perform like us and so that means also that you and I who have now become born again children of God the first thing people should notice about us should be our creative ability ability to bring forth something new ability to bring life out of the dead remember the whole earth was in chaos darkness was upon the face of the deep the earth was without form and void and then God began to create and God said let there be light and there was light and everything God said came to be and it was good so the creative nature and if you remember in Genesis chapter 1 God could not say until the spirit moved over the face of the deep so the spirit of wisdom had to come and take his place before God began to speak by the spirit of wisdom and so the spirit of wisdom comes and takes his place in our hearts and in our lives like I have quoted in uh, Ephesians chapter 1 where Paul prayed that God may give unto us the spirit of wisdom in verse 17 and so you and I having received the spirit of wisdom we begin to express this spirit in everything that we do everything remember in the book of psalm chapter 1 from verse 1 the bible says blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners nor seated in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the lord and in his law that he meditate day and night he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season his leaves also shall not wither and this is where i'm going and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper why why will it be so because he does it by the spirit of wisdom he might not even realize it you see when you flow in the spirit of wisdom you don't need to remember that okay i'm about to do this by the spirit of wisdom no it becomes a natural thing for you to take wise decisions it becomes a natural thing for you to choose the best option it becomes a natural thing for you to have solutions to naughty and difficult problems and people begin to observe and say just wait let him come let him come he will have an idea of what we can do because they have observed about you that you always prefer solution and you don't struggle to do it 
You do it because there is a spirit in you. The spirit of wisdom that leads you to be able to do such things. And so being filled with this spirit of wisdom, the Bible says, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Not because that thing, anybody can prosper in it, but because you are the one handling it. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Not because it's okay, anybody can make it, but because you are the one that have taken it up. The Bible says, and God blessed the house of the not Pharaoh, the, the house of the first man that uh, Joseph was, Potiphar. God bless the house of Potiphar because of Joseph. Anything that Joseph touched prospered. You and I know that that man had the spirit of wisdom. And so when people say it's not possible, it cannot work, you say, wait a minute. And you go back praying in the Holy Ghost and invoking the power of the spirit of wisdom and as you begin to pray daniel said give me three days and we come back the king wanted to kill everybody he said if nobody can interpret what can, you know those kinds of kings of those days they had absolute power you are the one that dreamt you didn't get the interpretation now you are troubling everybody <laughs> you want to kill everybody okay what about you should kill yourself first since you couldn't interpret it but then they had absolute powers say everybody now it was a problem to be a wise man then because all the wise men were in trouble since you are a wise man you must have the solution you can't have the title and not have the solution and so they had been carrying the title he said now you will give me the solution to this dream that i have and none of them could they said oh king no king has ever asked any man this guy is uh, he said you are wrong i am the king that is asking any man this one and finally when daniel appeared daniel said give me three days oh i want to intermeddle with wisdom do you know there is something called intermeddling with wisdom uh, i hope i will have the chance one of these days i'm going to teach you on the topic of the the mystery of intermeddling with wisdom you cannot intermeddle with wisdom and not come out with solutions so daniel requested to go intermeddle with wisdom and after three days he came back with the solution so when you meet with wisdom you come back with something that nobody else can offer that nobody else can give people look at you in town and say tell us how do you do it some even tell you which baba do you go to that makes the charm for you because in their minds things cannot just work like this unless there is a spirit that is backing up but then it's a wrong mindset they have they believe in the negative spirit more than in the spirit of god not knowing that with god nothing shall be impossible hallelujah i see this dimension of wisdom beginning to express itself in your life like never before can i hear your loudest amen And so whatsoever he do it take note whatsoever anything he does anything he is inspired to do works even when others have tried it and it did not work as soon as he tries it it works and so joseph prospered in potiphar's house and he prospered in pharaoh's house and he prospered in everything he did prospered in his own prospered in other people's own so whatever anointing from the lord is upon you is meant to both work for you and work for others i've heard people say the anointing does not work for them it works for others i don't know where you got it from how can it not work for you while it is working for others some say i see for others i don't see for myself you are blind it was the spirit of wisdom in joseph that lifted him up it was the same spirit of wisdom in him that made him be a blessing to others and 
whatsoever you do shall prosper. Can, can you lay your right hand on your head and declare whatsoever I do shall prosper. Say I have the spirit of wisdom. Whatsoever I do shall prosper. <laughs> Something is about to happen to the work of your hands that will make people begin to think in a different dimension about you. And it's because you, are, you have intermeddled with the spirit of wisdom. Pretendo in spraditai, montosh en tuje, montosh en zuje, robos kele makrato sivle et nekos. Ayabalaka, I am wise by the Spirit of the Lord. Zekoti na rabasate, endo frekete la bai, la brakate, de dekete keli kreketu zivina na 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 masai. Ilodo seka teka. I want you to pray that prayer with the whole of your hearts. Jebrakil el adus in tushe. Penko santa la mandres. Ushata, 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 ushata. Something is changing about you when you walk out of this place and begin to manifest. People will know that there is a spirit inside of you the bible speaking of joshua and caleb uh, acknowledge that these men had another spirit they had another spirit uh, and that was why they could see solutions when people saw problems <laughs> they could see victory when others saw defeats they could see triumph when others saw failure they had another spirit you have another spirit. Esatale tashigo rakate kala manate le rede kundele se shine na na nantes imblokto se praktigos jokli kabaye mene belgete ke bonto korobo shikara ba sentele bosunta la baye. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I see you manifesting by the spirit of wisdom from today forward. In Jesus' name I pray. The only thing that qualified Bazalil for the position he occupied in the building of the temple of the tabernacle and the wonderful things in the tabernacle was the spirit of wisdom that made him that's in Ex exodus chapter 31 that made him to stand out as a creator of things that had never been seen before brother there are things men have not seen before in this town you can bring them forth oh you don't understand what i'm talking about sisters there are things people have not seen in this time that they have not seen it before does not mean it is not possible it just means nobody has brought it forth but then when you intermeddle with wisdom and begin to bring forth ideas come on they begin to see it and they ask themselves why didn't i think of it you didn't think of it because you don't have the spirit i have God only described things to Moses and then gave the wisdom to create those things to Bazalil. Even Moses could not create what he saw because God did not give him the spirit of wisdom to create it. If you don't have it, you don't have it. And you better not fight the man that has it. Because you will fight in vain. So Moses had to align with the man that had the spirit of wisdom. And like I said last week. Visions and revelations is not enough. Moses had the visions. Moses had the revelations. But he could not produce it. Until the man with the spirit of wisdom aligned with him and what was in the spirit realm by revelation appeared in the physical realm by wisdom <laughs> so there is something that will appear in your life this month by wisdom 
there is a prophecy that will appear in your life by wisdom there is a vision there is a revelation there is something you've been believing god for god has told you he has shown you you have seen it in a dream in a vision in a, yet it is not manifesting i load you with the wisdom that will bring the physical manifestation of, of what is in the spirit realm in the name of the lord jesus little do we know that there are amazing things God wants in this world. They are in the spirit realm. And God is looking for men and women who will intermeddle with wisdom to bring those ideas into the world. In every area of life, whether in your home, in your business, in your career, in your office, everywhere. Everywhere everywhere and you can demand for the operation of the spirit of wisdom in every area of your life he can give you ideas concerning that subject in school that is so difficult he can give you ideas that you will bring forth in that executive meeting that will make people begin to give you attention and get you elevated he can give you ideas that can turn a little into a thousand and a small one into a strong nation Jacob had next to nothing in Laban's house until he had a dream until he encountered the wisdom of the ages in his dream and when he woke up and applied the dream come on even the sons of Laban became envious of him. Listen. You don't prosper because those around you have finally decided that you can prosper. You prosper because you now have the spirit of wisdom to prosper. Regardless those opposing your prosperity. And that's why the Bible can say, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. They are still there. They are still alive. They are still attacking. Yet, you are prospering. That's when men begin to say, What wisdom is this? <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Laban, his boss, didn't suddenly become a good man. And say, Jacob, now I realize I've been maltreating you. You can begin to prosper. No, he was still a wicked man. But something changed. Jacob tapped into a realm. Jacob entered a dimension that even the wickedness of his uncle could not prevent his prosperity. Listen, there is a realm you enter where charms, divinations, and enchantments cannot work. Because the idea you betted is, is smelling of the spirit of wisdom. And so when charms come, they salute and turn back. They say, don't go near this one. Don't go near this one. That's why the psalmist said, let them curse, but bless thou. He said, keep coming, release it. But the kind of blessing I have, curses cannot touch it. It's like sending paper to visit fire. What do you think will happen to the paper? The paper will not be alive to take the message back. I bless you with the spirit of wisdom. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I told you last week that even in the creation of the garments of Aaron, garments like this one I'm wearing, God had to give men the spirit of wisdom to be able to create it. Exodus chapter 28 verse 3. So that means it doesn't matter the craft you are into, the handwork you are into. 
you can stand out by the spirit of wisdom. If tailors need the spirit of wisdom, then pastors also need the spirit of wisdom. And doctors need the spirit of wisdom. Teachers need the spirit of wisdom. Pilots, engineers need the spirit of wisdom. In Exodus chapter 28 verse 3 it says, And thou shalt speak unto all that are wise-hearted. Somebody say, I am wise-hearted. <laughs> say, speak unto all. That means there were those who were not wise-hearted among them. <laughs> and look at it. God targeted those that were wise-hearted. They speak, there are very many, but speak to those who are wise-hearted. How did, was he supposed to know those who are wise-hearted? He's supposed to know them by the work of their hands. When he looks around and looks, he will see that this one is wise-hearted by what he is creating by what he is producing not by his claims i am wise i am wise and then we don't see the evidence of wisdom in his life have you ever seen a young man by going by the name wisdom and he is not wise they call him wisdom everywhere wisdom wisdom but he is an epitome of foolishness <laughs> he says and thou shalt speak unto all that are wise hearted whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom. That's why they are wise hearted. I filled them with the spirit of wisdom. So that they might make Aaron's garments. To consecrate him. That he may minister unto me in the priest's office. Thank you Holy Spirit. So number one benefit. Of being filled with the spirit of wisdom. Is for creativity. You will start creating things. You know it's somebody that brought the idea of pure water in a sachet. Back then they used to tie it in this Santana leather. In our days, you remember? Uh -huh, they call it ice water. Tie it in Santana leather. One one naira, two two naira. And you will suck it. Until somebody thought of packaging it in a better way. That's branding. And every other person now entered into it. So why don't you be that person that brings ideas that the whole world will come into? Number two, inspiration. Inspiration. Job chapter 32 verse 8. But there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth him understanding. Ay, ay, ay. There is a spirit in man. I want you to say, There is a spirit in me. You, you know how these people that go to collect strange powers boast around? They just come out and boast everywhere with those tiny powers they have. How much more when we have the Spirit of God in us? That was why Joshua and Caleb could say, let us go up at once. Let's go up. We have something different. So there is a spirit in man. And the inspiration of the Almighty giveth him understanding. The wisdom of God drops inspiration in the heart of the carrier of the spirit of wisdom. What is inspiration? Inspiration is a process of being mentally stimulated. With ideas. And solutions to problems. If you are a writer, a writer of books, of poems, and all of that, you will understand what I mean by inspiration. It just drops. You didn't arrange it. Idea just drops. The title of the book just drops. The, the chapters just drop, and then you are running all around the house. Where is the pen? Where is my daughter? Where did you keep it? Because you know you have to catch it and put it down. 
That's why the Bible says, write the vision, make it plain. So, you know, you know the scripture that says, my heart is indicting a good matter. That is inspiration coming. The guy knows that something is welling up in my heart. I'm catching ideas about my family life. I'm catching ideas about the book I'm writing. I'm catching ideas about my workplace, my business, my ministry. My, you, my heart is indicting a good matter. He says, I speak of things concerning the king. My tongue is like the pen of a ready writer. I am ready to download because I've been inspired by the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Wisdom. So because you have the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Wisdom inside of you, you always get inspiration. You can never be stranded of ideas. And like they say, like they say ideas rule the world. Everything you see in the world today started as an idea in somebody's mind. Even this microphone I'm holding. Somebody thought of it that, why not? I think I can create something like, he was inspired. And then he began to work on it. Began to work on it. Until here you have the microphone. So when you have the spirit of wisdom, you get inspirations of what to do. And interestingly, the way it is with inspiration, a lot of times you were not even thinking in that direction. But it just comes and stays and persists until it becomes a dominating thought in you. And you cannot but begin to pay attention and step out with it. And sometimes it comes because you have been focusing on a particular thing trying to find a solution to it what do i do how do i do it how do i go about it and then the inspiration comes and for some of you it might come in a dream you remember joseph he was thinking how do i handle this mary that suddenly became pregnant and she says it is by the holy ghost and everybody is suspecting me what do i do should i go to the marketplace and say my hands are clean i'm not involved should i take her out for them to stone her to death he was thinking and the bible says when he slept an angel appeared to him that was an inspiration expressing itself in his dream and then he got the solution to the issue by the spirit of wisdom so the bible says in proverbs chapter 16 verse 3 commit thy works unto the lord and what will he do your thoughts shall be established another translation says commit your works unto the lord and your thoughts will become agreeable to his will Ah, you didn't hear that <laughs> when you commit your works unto the lord you will start thinking god's thoughts he will just drop his thoughts in your mind. You will think you are that smart guy thinking. But it's God sharing his thoughts with you. Because you have committed that work into his hand. And those are the ways of divine inspiration. That bring his, brings uncommon changes into the world. I want you to strive not to be an ordinary Christian. Too many Christians are ordinary they are just normal with every other person. There is nothing that makes you stand out. You are supposed to be more excellent than your neighbor. And when they strive to reach the level you are, before they can reach it, you have entered another level. Glory be to God. Number three. The spirit of wisdom expresses itself and manifests in us through the power of God. Number three benefit is the power of God. One of the first things to observe about a spirit is that a spirit is powerful. So for those of you that fear ghosts, when you hear ghosts, the reason you fear is because you know, you believe that the ghost has power 
to make your head turn the other way around 360 degree so the first thing about the spirit is that it is powerful the Bible says in Acts chapter 1 verse 8 but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and then you shall be witnesses unto me beginning in Jerusalem and unto Judea and unto Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth so the spirit comes the spirit of God the spirit of wisdom and begins to express himself in the form of power in your life and then you can go about take note they began to go about as witnesses from Jerusalem and unto Judea they spread forth and unto Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth I bless you today with the entrepreneurial anointing to spread forth I say it again I bless you today with the entrepreneurial anointing to spread forth and enlarge and expand see Abraham had a covenant blessing with God and before he departed God told him to transfer it to Isaac. He couldn't even share it with two sons. It had to be one. He couldn't give it to two. It had to be one. And so, he gave it to Isaac. And when Isaac was to give it also, he couldn't give it to more than one. And so there was a tussle between Esau and Jacob to receive that. And so he finally gave it to Jacob. But when it landed on Jacob, the man Jacob carried an anointing to spread. When it was time for him to... If you have been blessed by this ministration, follow Apostle John Udo on Facebook at Apostle John Udo. To follow on YouTube, type John Udo Ministries. If you need prayer, counseling, deliverance, or follow up, call plus 234 806 036 1421. Plus 234 806 036 1421. And remember, all things are possible.